All right, everyone. I am in Nogales, Arizona. Nogales is right on the border with Mexico. Uh, it's a fascinating city. I'm going to walk through downtown, uh, show you what it looks like, tell you about the city as I do that. A lot of this downtown is on, uh, on the National Register, by the way. Let's see. A little bit about Nogales. Uh, it is at the end of what they call the Canamex Corridor. That is a series of interstates that connect Canada to Mexico. And uh, it runs right through Nogales here. Now there's uh, a shot of downtown. I'm going to head up in this direction towards the uh, border with Mexico. Now Nogales is Spanish for walnut trees, in case you were wondering. Uh, there were a bunch of those at one time here. Anyway, the economy in the town revolves around international trade. There are four international ports of entry here. And um, interestingly, the top employer here is a place or a company called Seattle Sports. Uh, they make outdoor gear. Uh, I had no idea who they were. I had to look them up. But anyway, yeah, they are the top employer. Then you've got city, federal, county government, ISD. The next, what, five spots. And then seventh is um, Home Depot. Just want to show you this uh, F.W. Woolworth Co. building from 1920. On the register, as you can well imagine. Beautiful building. Uh, when you're here, <laughs> it really feels like you're in Mexico. Uh, everything's in Spanish, and everybody speaks Spanish here. Anyway, as I make my way through downtown, Nogales is a tale of two cities. Two cities named Nogales, and right up there, uh, I'm showing you the uh, Nogales in Mexico right now, up on the hills there, and uh, you can see the border wall here. Let me get you a look in this direction. Yeah, you can see uh, the little roads that the Border Patrol takes. I'm going to walk this way and show you what it looks like down here. Of course, well, not of course, but Nogales, Mexico, is one of the most dangerous cities in the country. In fact, the State Department uh, basically says only visit for essential travel. Uh, and if you are a woman, or women in general, do not go there alone because of the high uh, incidence of uh, sexual assault. So basically, if you're a woman, going right there into Nogales is a no-go. So what's it like in Nogales, Arizona? Is it dangerous as well? The preconception for many people across the U.S. is that these border towns with Mexico are dangerous just like their Mexican counterparts. But it's not. This is one of the safest cities of its size in the United States. Um, why? Quite frankly, uh, the police presence, there is a huge amount of local, state, and federal police here. Let me walk over here a little closer. Uh, in fact, Nogales has one of the highest ratios of police to citizens in the entire United States. So all this adds up to uh, a safe city. A uh, city of families. Uh, look at all that uh, razor wire. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice place to live. I've zoomed into uh, Nogales here on the Mexican side. 
Let's do a slow pan there. That's something, isn't it? Okay, as I make my way into the city center, I'm going to tell you about, or give you the stats. Uh, the per capita income here is 19400 a year. Median household income is 32000 a year. Median age is 37. Gender breakdown, pretty equal. 52% female, 48% male. Race breakdown, 94% Hispanic, 3% white, 1% black, 1% Asian, and then 1% other. Median home value is uh, 139,300. Um, the US average is 428,000, so as you can see, cost of living is pretty low here, especially housing. A number that stuck out a little bit is the high school graduation rate, 67% uh, compared to the U.S. average of 85%. So there's all that. All right, uh, let's look around, shall we? Okay, right there is uh, the Two of the bridges across. Uh, one is for vehicles, I believe, and the other is pedestrian. Uh, you can see people right there. That's uh, people walking back and forth across the border. Now, I don't think I gave you the population numbers yet, so let me do that. Uh, there's about 20,000 people here in Nogales. That said, it feels much larger and I'll elaborate in a second. Uh, Nogales, Mexico, uh, right over here, has um, about 250,000 people. So it's much larger. Um, let me look over here. Nogales, Arizona, like I said, feels much bigger than 20,000. And I will tell you this, when you drive north of here towards Tucson, um, there is a ton of small communities, a lot. So the people in this area are, uh, there are a lot more people in this area than 20,000, let's put it that way. I guess you can get your money changed there. But yeah, if you keep going up this way, uh, you'll hit the uh, bridge to cross over if you want. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just kind of looking around this town. Um, Nogales, Mexico averages a little over 300 murders a year and that's just what's reported. Um, it being led or controlled by the cartel you can well imagine that a lot of stuff goes unreported. Uh, last, uh, uh, let's see, the latest statistics for murder here show zero. Zero murders here in Nogales, even though there was an incident recently uh, where a rancher near here uh, shot someone and killed him, uh, a Mexican national. Oh cool, we got a train coming. Um, let's see, I'm going to go over there. Let's see where that train goes. Yeah, here he comes. Now, as you well know by now, Mexico's right there. So, I guess the trains can just go right in. <laughs> Woo, it's loud. Here's more of the border wall. I'm on the other side of uh, downtown and the port of entry. Let me show you a little bit more of Mexico. Nogales, Mexico. You can hear that train still. 
what is that, the Frida Hotelis uh, in Mexico. Give you a look. As the wall stretches uh, along the border here. It has something in it. I would like to go look through these slats, but there are signs saying to not do that. Now you can hear kids on the Mexican side. Like I said, border patrols are everywhere. You can see one down there. And uh, there's one right behind me here. He's just sitting right there, right there, watching everything. You can't miss their truck, so the white with the green stripe. Anyway, I'm gonna walk down this uh, back through here and show you the uh, US side. Really interesting, isn't it? It's got, uh, looks almost like an orange tree in there something growing beware of dog yeah I'll show you a little bit more yeah, I'm walking down the street here and uh, see this I'm not sure what it is it's got razor wire on top of it Almost looks like it might be storage of some sort. Now this house here. Um, I don't know if it's occupied. Uh, little porch there. Amazing. And then there's another Border Patrol truck parked right there on the corner, right where that car turned. Uh, they got a place here where you can buy pesos. Uh, but what caught my eye is this little statue. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's see. Look around a little bit more. Uh, that is the old fire station in City Hall. Hopefully traffic is not obscuring it too much. Built in 1914, uh, it is on the National Register. I am walking up to the Santa Cruz County Courthouse. Built in 1904. It's no longer the county courthouse. They've moved that elsewhere. Uh, the building still stands here though. It is something. It's beautiful. Now here's a closer look. 1904. This is an old building. Uh, they used rock that was quarried locally. It's amazing. Let's see, I got a pretty good view of the city here from up here. Uh, wow, looks like something caught on fire down there. But anyway, there's the city there, downtown is straight that way. And that white building is in Mexico. All right guys, I'm gonna check out some neighborhoods. Uh, I am right on the border here. Let me show you on the map where I'm at. Yeah, you can see Nogales is uh, right in Arizona, south of Tucson. Right on the Mexican border. And as you can also see, it's built on hills. Quite a view, a uh, really good view from up here though. From this neighborhood. Uh, there is the border wall right there. You can see how close to it I am. If you can see it there. drive around a little bit take a look let's see we've got some uh, really nice houses here um, yeah 
Yeah, I love some of this architecture. There's some of that Adobe architecture right there. It's awesome. Very Spanish influenced. Some of these houses, like this one straight ahead. Now, let's see. Uh, streets are getting very narrow. Wow, that's a really nice house, though. The adobe architecture and stucco is beautiful. Bit of a narrow street here. I think the uh, Bronco can finagle her way in here, though. Let's see. Can look out at some of the houses uh, to the left here. Look at some of the neighborhoods here. Good view of the city from up here. Look down there's a little bit more. Hopefully you can see through the trees. The uh, trees are going to clear up right here. I'll give you a good look. Again, it just it looks very much like Mexico. Of course, there's Mexico over there, the white buildings in Mexico. Really interesting. Look, is that a... <laughs> is that like a little dog up there? Wow. Man, I wonder how he got up there. I'd be afraid he'd fall down. He's just a little guy. I look at these little tiny yards right here. Really interesting, uh, this architecture. Now they may they just build these houses. I mean, look at this one right here. It's kind of, I don't know if that's pink. But you can see you just walk up the stairs to get into your house. There's a front door right there. That's absolutely fascinating. And there's the, uh, the border fence and the wall. Wow, that is really cool. This place is really interesting to me. Look, what do you guys see? It's like a whole herd of cats. Look at them all. Yay! I was wondering if I was going to get any shots of cats. One, two, three, four, five. Five cats. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretending like I'm the Count from Sesame Street. I'm sure you guys who are older remember him. One of my favorite characters on that show as a kid. I'm not sure if I gave you guys the property right here yet. It is uh, 29.8. That's pretty high. That's uh, almost three times higher than the national average. 17 and under is 37%. Uh, people 65 and older, it's 29%. The Bronco's working to get up here. Uh, but once you get up here, what a view. Uh, looking right into Mexico there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All this is Mexico. There's the border wall right in the middle of the frame. Downtown's right there too. Give you an idea where I'm at. Great view up here. Uh, pretty nice houses here uh, on the street. Uh, beautiful houses, actually. Their backyards uh, must have a great view into Mexico. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, looking into Mexico there. Wow, that is a great view. You can see all far into uh, Mexico, into Nogales, Mexico. I wonder what this is. I don't think that's a house. Maybe it is. Huh. 
that's really cool. Well, all right guys, uh, I'm gonna end this part of the video here. I'm gonna head up north a few miles. There's a little town up there I wanna show you, and um, oh, look at this over here. There's a Mexican restaurant there that's family owned. Has really great food from what I hear, so I'm gonna uh, get some food for me and the wife for later tonight, but I wanna show you the town. Now, let me give you this shot first though. Nice, huh? Wow, you can see the wall there, can you see that? you can see everything very cool all right uh, yeah so uh, I'm gonna head up to that uh, restaurant now all right everyone I am in the town of Tubac I guess that's how you pronounce it T-U-B-A-C uh, you remember me telling you there was a whole bunch of little towns north of Nogales that's why the population seems much bigger. This is one of those little towns. Um, this town is really interesting. It's uh, it's an arts colony. So there are tons of uh, art galleries here, over a hundred. Uh, I'm gonna drive through and give you a little look. There's about 1,600 people here. A little bit older community. I think uh, the median age is uh, in a, like 60 years old. Uh, it was founded in 1752 uh, as a Spanish presidio or a fortress. That's what that is. And uh, they've got uh, that. The remains of that fortress is a, a big attraction here. Uh, Tubac Presidio State Historical Park. But many of the people come here for the art. I came here to pick up dinner for me and the wife. I'm gonna give you a look at some of the local architecture here. I'm thinking a lot of this is probably new, but it's still awesome. Uh, the adobe architecture. Of course these are, again, Mostly art galleries, occasional restaurant here and there, cobalt gallery, fine art. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite the uh, art enclave, if you will. Barrio de Tubac, so they're using um, the Spanish name for neighborhood. Uh, I'm driving into residential now. Ooh, pretty nice, isn't it? Really nice, huh? Beautiful neighborhood. A very Spanish architecture. Wow, look at all the uh, cactus. No grass here. They use gra uh, rocks for yards. Or, yeah, instead of grass, they use rocks. Gravel, if you will. Beautiful. All right, I'm here. Uh, is it Solos or Sotos? Outpost Mexican restaurant. Anyway, it's supposed to be fantastic. So I'm going to get some food for the wife and I to go. Cute little quaint bar here. Very small. Uh, it's a cool looking place. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get some food to go here for me and the wife. She's working out today, by the way. Uh, that's three to four hours, so get us some food for dinner. Anyway, I look at the restaurant. Very quaint looking place. Uh, yeah, very Mexican in design. And then there's a nice little bar that I'm sitting at. As I enjoy my beer, I'm listening to a table of 
older people. I think this is a retiree town. It sure seems like it. Uh, people on the table next to me, probably in their 70s, they are pounding the tequila shots. <laughs> it's cracking me up. Okay, food secured. The wife and I will get to eat tonight. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, we are heading to Yuma, Arizona next. And yes, Nicole will be in that video. So uh, be looking for that one.